A group of curious students set out into the forest with hopes of getting footage of a bear or wolf, only to come face to face with more than what they bargained for. But that can't be compared to having a barbecue and having a werewolf watch you from afar, or being crazy enough to chase a ghost after seeing one. Today's trail cam video collection is packed with jaw-dropping encounters you wouldn't want to miss. Watch till the end, and you will be glad you did. If I received a dollar for every time a drone pilot captured something odd and weird without realizing it, I'd surely be a millionaire by now. This footage was captured by a drone pilot in Ohio who was simply trying to get nice footage of the forest area, and he assumed that was all he had captured. At least until he reviewed the footage and realized he'd captured more than he intended. In the footage was a stealthy dark figure in the forest which was trying to avoid drawing attention to itself. He couldn't discern what it was exactly, but he could tell that it was bigger than human and all black, either with fur or dark skin. Taking a second look at it, he concluded it was fur. But what creature could possibly be that big? Turns out there are no creatures in the forest area which are that big. But there have been rumors of Bigfoot sightings, a very shy and elusive one at that. Had this drone pilot just delivered another piece of evidence of the presence of Bigfoot in Ohio? Many believe so. What do you think? What happens when you walk into your favorite forest only to see some trees uprooted and the branches of some broken? I mean, not just one or two or three trees or their branches, but a whole lot of them. As though that was not odd enough, some of these trees and branches had actually been stacked on top of each other. Naturally, this would arouse curiosity, and that's exactly what happened with the owner of this trail cam footage. He hadn't seen this happen in the forest before and thought perhaps an animal was building something. But what animal? He couldn't tell. If they were smaller, he could have assumed a beaver was responsible. But then again, there were no beavers in the area. With no answers, he set up a trail cam in the area, hoping to capture an image, at least of whatever was responsible. He left the trail cam for a few days and returned to the footage. At first, the footage showed nothing, yet he assumed that he was overthinking things until he saw a dark beast sitting on one of the branches in the footage. It was dark and big. He thought it could be a bear, but no, it didn't share enough features with a bear. So, an ape? At least that's what he initially thought, but there were no ape species in the area, plus it was too large to be one. Then what was it? He couldn't place a finger on it until he saw the night footage and concluded that he was in fact dealing with the mythical and elusive creature known as Bigfoot. Do you know that eerie feeling of something just watching you from afar when you're walking alone, especially at night? Well, this farmer and his group of friends decided to have a barbecue dinner outside and couldn't shake off the feeling they were being watched. By what, they couldn't tell. That was at least the case until one of them spotted a pair of glowing eyes hiding between some trees. They decided to film it, thinking they were perhaps dealing with a hungry wolf from the woods. But they soon discovered that, although the creature had the head of a wolf, it looked like a human from down below. At least, that's what they thought, using their imagination as its lower half was hidden by the bushes. Judging by the height at which it stood though, they were very sure it had to have a human lower half. It also had a very muscly back, and it led them to believe that this was a werewolf. They considered shooting, but what if it was indeed a werewolf? They didn't have silver to kill it, and would have instead aggravated it. To avoid any type of violence and potential death, they decided to offer some meat to this creature, whatever it was a few feet from where they were having their barbecue. It was only then that the creature disappeared. Do you think that was a werewolf? A part of me doesn't think so. I don't think a werewolf will just crouch down in the bushes and watch a group of humans enjoy their meal without it taking a bite first. But maybe that's just me. Would you call out a ghost dressed in ancient regalia? I know I wouldn't, but this group of Arabic YouTubers are a different breed altogether. They'd gone exploring an abandoned area in the northeast of Saudi Arabia when they came across the image of a person walking in an abandoned area in the middle of the night. He looked very pale as if he'd been dead for a while and took very stiff strides in the darkness. 
That to me will be the sign to get out of there, but that only interested the YouTubers. They wanted to understand what was going on and who it even was. Seeing him dressed in ancient clothes didn't stop them either. They started calling out to him. He didn't respond to them and went on his way. Nobody knows where he went or why he went there or who he even was. After sharing this video online, some thought it was the spirit of an ancient warrior that had come back to life, while others thought it was a hoax. What do you think? It's a cruel world out there, especially for the more smaller and vulnerable creatures that inhabit it. In this particular instance, a poor rabbit fell victim to the ruthless tactics of a group of bullying coyotes. As you can see, the rabbit attempted to flee, but one of the coyotes was quick enough to catch him between its jaws, sealing the rabbit's fate. It's heartbreaking to witness the brutality of nature, especially when it involves the loss of an innocent life. These coyotes, with their callous disregard for the value of life, are a reminder that in the wild, survival of the fittest is the only rule that matters. It's easy to feel anger towards these coyotes for their vicious behavior, but it's important to remember that they're simply following their instincts to survive. Love is like a symphony that fills the world with joy and wonder, and in the heart of nature, two lovebirds have found each other, completely oblivious to the trail camera that captures their sweet moments. These deer are caught in the act of grooming each other, lost in their world of affection. For deer, grooming is not just a simple act, but a way of expressing their love and affection. Their unique love language involves picking at each other's fur and continually licking each other. And while they're at it, they also take the opportunity to rid each other of pesky parasites, leaving them feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Talk about a clean, loving, healthy relationship. Ah, the Lix, a truly magnificent creature that captures the imagination with its beauty and grace. Caught on camera in the dead of night, this lynx prowls the wilderness with its regal poise at the true king of the forest. As it approaches the trail camera, its curiosity is palpable, a testament to the intelligence and inquisitive nature of this stunning feline. The lynx sniffs around the camera with a mix of wonder and caution, taking in its surroundings with all the majesty of a creature that knows it's at the top of the food chain. And who can blame the lynx for feeling so confident in its power? With its beautiful fur and piercing eyes, this is undoubtedly one of the most breathtaking felines on the planet. It's easy to see why the lynx has captured the heart and minds of nature lovers and photographers alike with its striking appearance and commanding presence. Ah, the great balancing act of nature. While some prey may fall victim to the wiles of their predators, others are wise enough to avoid them and live to see another day. And in this particular case, we witness a true champion of survival, a porcupine that is not yet ready to bid the world farewell. As we watch in awe, this spiky hero climbs a tree with lightning-fast agility, leaving its would-be predators in the dust. This porcupine has no intention of becoming Coyote Chow and will do whatever it takes to stay alive. In the background, we hear a chorus of coyotes growling and barking, their predatory instincts kicking into high gear at the sight of their potential meat scampering away. But this porcupine is no ordinary prey. It's a survivor and knows how to outsmart even the most cunning of predators. As the coyote appears and sniffs out the tree in search of a meal, the porcupine remains hidden, its spiky exterior acting as a natural defense mechanism that sends predators running for the hills. And with nothing in sight, the coyote is left to lick its wounds and seek out a less prickly meal. And so our spiky hero lives to see another day, a testament to the power of survival and the importance of never giving up even in the face of danger. It's a reminder that in nature, anything is possible, and that sometimes the smallest, most unlikely of creatures can emerge victorious against all odds. The bird in question was observed standing on a tree trunk for some time, seemingly still and alert. After a while, it began to flip its wings vigorously, but didn't take off from the trunk. The behavior seemed unusual and unexpected, prompting curiosity about its purpose. While there could be several possible explanations for the bird's behavior, some theories include the possibility of the bird trying to shake off excess moisture or preening its feathers. It's also possible that the bird was using the tree trunk as a platform to communicate with other birds or was simply stretching its wings and muscles before taking off. 
Without more context or observations, it's difficult to determine the exact reason behind the bird's behavior. However, the incident serves as a reminder of the intricate and complex behaviors of wildlife, which are often beyond human comprehension. There is still so much we have to learn because it seems every day new creatures are being found in the wild. These two students took a study trip into the woods, but I guess their curiosity to learn more gave them more than they bargained for. While hiking through the woods, they spotted what they thought to be a wild animal from afar, a bear or a wolf. But as the creature rose from the ground, it stood almost human-like and looked nothing like a bear. The two guys ran off because they were spooked by the creature they saw. They said it looked like nothing they had seen before. With the description they gave, the only animal that fits such features is none other than Bigfoot. What do you also think? Still on Bigfoot, we traveled to the woodlands in Washington State where a hiker came face to face with a creature that shares the likeness of the Bigfoot huddled on the branches of a tree. As the hiker and the creature stood frozen in place, both frightened of each other because of this unscheduled meeting. The hiker made the first move and slowly retreated. When the footage surfaced in December 2021, everyone who saw it was sure that this was a juvenile Bigfoot. Some are skeptical and think it's a bear instead, but I don't think so. Just take a good look at it. It screams Bigfoot. Montana has long been a hotspot for strange and unexplained phenomena from mysterious lights in the sky to sightings of extraterrestrial beings, but this footage takes things to a whole new level. A man captures an image on his trail cam and believes that it's a ghost. As you can see, it looks like the person in that image is oddly hazy, making it look like a ghost. Now locals and visitors alike are abuzz with talk of this ghostly apparition, wondering what it could mean and what other secrets might be lurking in the forests of Montana. Have you been to Montana? Have you experienced any strange things there? What do you think of this video? Tell us in the comments section. In the hot Portuguese desert, this footage was taken, with a lot of speculations about what the creature could be. As you can see, a humanoid creature about 7 to 8 feet tall is seen taking slow strides through the desert. The movement resembles that of a zombie from The Walking Dead, except that this creature is way bigger. The color of the creature blends perfectly with the surrounding. Perhaps this is why it's moving during the day, since it believes it has the perfect camouflage. It walks behind some bushes and never emerges again, leaving the owner of the footage wondering where it went. Once this was shared online, it led to many opposing views, some saying that it's a hoax, while the paranormal community argues that it might be a Sasquatch, a Bigfoot, or an alien. What do you think it is? The moose, a majestic and powerful animal, is known for its ability to navigate through the forest and find sustenance in the wild. However, sometimes even the most skilled of creatures can find themselves in a tight spot. This was the case with one moose in particular who went apple hunting and found itself stuck in between the branches of a tree. The moose cried out for help, hoping someone would hear its pleas and come to its rescue. Fortunately, locals came to its aid and immediately called the authorities. A team of experts arrived on the scene and assessed the situation. They realized that the only way to save the moose was to cut down the tree. With precision and care, the tree was cut down and the moose was rescued from its perilous situation. After being examined by the experts, the moose quickly ran off into the woods, eager to continue its journey. Amid the dense forest, an elk skull is lodged between the branches of a tree trunk. How did it get there? Was it a deliberate act or an unfortunate accident? As the camera zooms in, you can see the intricate details of the skull, the antlers still attached to the bones. It's a haunting sight, almost like a message from the wilderness itself. Some speculate that the elk may have been caught in a hunter's trap and dragged along until it became lodged in the tree. Others believe it was the work of a pack of wolves who were scavenging for food. But perhaps there's a more mysterious explanation. Could it be the work of some supernatural force, a warning to those who dare to trespass in the forest? Whatever the cause, the elk skull remains in its eerie perch, a reminder of the mysteries that lie deep within the heart of the wild. 
Humans often forget that they share the planet with other creatures, and sometimes their actions can have unintended consequences for these animals. Such was the case in this video, where a massive tree was being felled with a chainsaw, oblivious to the fact that animals were living in it. As the tree comes crashing down, a tiny bear cub emerged from the bottom of the remaining trunk. One can only imagine the terror it must have felt, suddenly finding itself exposed to the outside world. Thankfully, the cub managed to escape unscathed, but it was left homeless and vulnerable. It's important to remember that the natural world is not just a resource for human consumption, but a delicate ecosystem that's home to a myriad of creatures. Before undertaking any activities that could harm wildlife, it's important to take the time to assess the situation and ensure that all necessary precautions have been taken to protect these creatures. Well, here we go again another tree. This time it's not being felled, but rather burning. But fortunately, it wasn't caused by humans this time. This tree was found burning from the inside by itself. When experts were called to assess the situation, it was concluded that the tree was struck by lightning, which set it ablaze. So to quench the fire, which was sure to spread, they had to cut the trunk open. Just look at those yellow and orange flames. Beautiful, but dangerous. In the deep of the night, a trail cam footage set on a swamp of alligators. And in the stillness of the night, you can hear the beast bellowing. The alligator was a formidable sight with its rough, scaly skin and powerful jaws. But amid its loud bellowing, it was clear that it was also searching for love. The deep, guttural sound echoed through the swamp, sending a message to any nearby alligators that it was ready to mate. While humans are busy finding cheesy pickup lines to woo a lover, these guys let out a primal cry from their guts, shaking any potential mate to the core and attracting them to it. The alligator's bellowing continued for several minutes, growing louder and more urgent with each passing moment. As the sound echoed through the swamp, it was clear that the alligator was determined to find a mate. I hope he finds what he's searching for. This majestic crane stands tall and proud. Its slender, elongated legs allow it to effortlessly balance on the muddied earth while its sharp beak protrudes like a finely honed sword. The crane's beady eyes dart around, scanning the murky waters for any sign of movement, any hint of prey. It seems almost otherworldly, as if it doesn't belong in this earthly realm, with its ethereal white feathers shining in the dim light, filtering through the dense foliage above. As the crane preens its feathers, it exudes a sense of calm and serenity, as if it's one with the swamp around it. But one can't help but wonder what secrets lie beneath those still waters and how the crane navigates through the treacherous terrain of the swamp. It is a true marvel of nature, an elegant and enigmatic creature that leaves us in awe and wonder. And that's the end of today's video. See you in the next one.